Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Blue Devils have been mired in this deep funk, and sometimes when things start going wrong, the harder you work, the worse it gets. At least it seems that way. They have to find a way to relax, play to their capabilities, and try to find something that can give them a little bit of confidence. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Welcome to the blue turf of Bronco Stadium. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Duke is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Schmidt fields at the goal line. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Boise State's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Jones gains about four yards there. That makes it second and it's six. second and six. Ball on the 28-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. They bring him down at about the 35. Patterson gains seven yards. The poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball. That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Run, 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 run. Tackle made at the 47. The Broncos always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From their own 47 yard line. It's first down. Close ball and back and got his man. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34 yard line. I like how the blitz was identified and then picked up. That's a good test for a quarterback. How does he react in the face of pressure? down 10 yards to go ball in 34 quick throw and they push him out at the 20. this passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback they use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend Play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. From the 20 yard line. Down. And he's hit immediately. And this play is number eight on the drive. Show 
with some moves, and he's in. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. The Jayhawks roll by 19. In other action, time for an update from the Sunbelt Conference, a league which has produced a number of speedy defenders. And for UAB, they've lost two in a row. South Alabama comes away with a three-point win. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick throw incomplete on his receiver. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. They line up at the 13. It's second down. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Flips it, middle of the running back. He's taken down the 20-yard line. White picks up seven yards with that catch. Price back deep to return. Price takes it at the 43, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns in two possessions. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down. From the 28-yard line. First down. Boise State is up seven. Here we go. Three, Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Up down at the 18. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. He's run the ball very well and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he converts the extra point. A five play, 43 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Cook has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. 
Tackle made at the 27. Boise State's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call it's second down 12 to go ball on their own 25 got it and brought down immediately game of seven on the play that'll make it 35 Carter to punt. He makes it to the 42-yard line. The Broncos really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. 14-0, Boise State. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. And down he goes. And the 49. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. He's scrambling. He's got the corner. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line, first down. They'll give it off here. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it 76. He's tackled at the 31. down now and they need to get it to the 25. <laughs> Steps up in the pocket. Quick pass. That's a great tackle. The 18 yard line. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 20-yard line. He 
fights forward to about the 20. No game. That brings us third and 12. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. This is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he's got it. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's get you up to date on some games that could really wreak havoc on the BCS standing. And for Arkansas, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. The Razorbacks on top, 7-0. And for the Broncos, well, if that score holds up, they should move into the BCS title chase with a win. Cook has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. Brought down at the 26. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. At the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike 55, Mike 55. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. The man defense proved to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Throws a laser across the middle, and he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. to the tailback incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Brought down around the 26-yard line. A couple of yards that time on the screen. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. couldn't convert and that's going to cost him the possession things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half these next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being the right side. Boise State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Set. Huh? And he is drilled at the 
34-yard line. Great play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with a sack. to the 40. He has some room. Inside the 30. Gets by him and still on his feet. Touchdown Broncos. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Arkansas, they can win their ninth game of the year today. Arkansas leads it 14-0. 24-0, our score. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 24-0, Boise State. David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boise State's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And he's hit immediately. First down. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he's sacked. And for Fontaine, he's now gotten to the quarterback twice. And I hope the quarterback's all right because he took a shot on that play. That was a great hit. is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He drops it. Berkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. We're about set to start things up again. Ready! Gets out to around the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. Stop. 
The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. From the 14-yard line, first down. it out to maybe the seven yard line that's good for a gain of one yard that makes it third and three third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things. Fifth and two is receiver. Touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection and the quarterback spotted his man. converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 46-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. They line up to kick this one away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. the halfback on the screen. He's tackled he around the 23-yard line. That's, That's a gain of six, six on the play. play. That, that brings, brings up third and 12. 12. Carter awaits the snap. He's to the 40. Steps out of bounds at the 42. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. Boise State looking to put this game away if they score here. Horns left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Right. 
Incomplete. He's got room. And he shoved out of bounds at the 14. see some reserves get some playing time. The Broncos lead 31 to nothing. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. And he's level at the 11-yard line. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Throws this one out to the right. This one is incomplete. You know, the execution's pretty good here by the offense as far as the route progression and the read by the quarterback. But the tight end's got to do a better job of trying to get one foot down bounds and realizing where he is on the field. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they make the stop at the four. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Boise State up by a big margin. It's up, and he got it. Here's an update from the studio and reshape. All right, let's check in on some games with major BCS implications. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Arkansas, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. Johnson's prolific as a receiver, and already he's over 100 yards. The Razorbacks on top, 24-3. It's 34 to nothing in this one. Cook is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Slings it. Tackle at the 30. Caught open field. He's out of bounds at the 38. That's a game of eight on the play. Roger, Roger. That makes it first and ten. Roger, He gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That brings up second and one. Right here, right here. And he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. From the 43-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 45. Just under three to go in regulation. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 47. Let's 
see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Broncos came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you can hope for. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Makes it out to about the 36. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Let's go! 180! Nice run up the middle. Four yards away here on second down. Brought down right around the 50. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it third and one. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 34 nothing, Bronco. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.